Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley from photographyontheside.com. In this video, we're going to talk about creating the contact me pop-up with a contact form um, for your Smug Mug website. I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, it's something that has uh, been asked quite a bit um, within the uh, um, tutorial that I've created. Um, the most recent one, uh, most recent request for, was at the way bo bottom of my comments here uh, from Joe Hegwood. Uh, she wanted a, a contact button or a link um, so people could fill out some information and send her uh, send her a, a message. So we're going to set that up on our site. So as you can see from Joe's site as well as the Johnny Walker photography site, there is no contact uh, link. There is only a work with me page and within the work with me page there's a um, phone number and an email here. But yeah, we can do one better. So if you look at at uh, my kind of real photography site with Smug Mug, I've got a contact link here. And so it is something that uh, uh, that we probably want to add to our site. So what we're going to do is we're going to be following this tutorial, which uh, which is awesome by by Jay Friend by John, and John created this thing, made this thing work, does all the coding and stuff. So it's pretty much going to be copy and paste. But I'm going to show you where everything goes and how to set it up. Um, so what I want to just do is tell you that uh, what you're looking at in this window is is the Chrome browser, and that's where I've got uh, the um, my Johnny Walker photography site um, shown from a visitor point of view. I'm not logged in. But if I switch over to Firefox, you're going to see the same site, johnnywalkerphotography.smugmug.com, and, uh, and here I am logged in. So I'm going to do my, my work in Firefox, but I'm going to be jumping back and forth between Chrome and Firefox to get the information. So just wanted to like point that out so that you're not too confused. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing that we need to do, and uh, it, it does it explains it up in the top here, is we want to put in our make sure our email address is in the proper spot, and even before that, we should know that um, this particular um, uh, solution is only for Smug Mug Pro account users. So if you have a business or a portfolio account, you'll be able to follow this tutorial and make this happen. There's other ways to um, to have a contact me link um, that will do something a little less fancy than a pop-up content or a pop-up pop-up box like this one but um, but I'll show you a, another solution for anybody that's just using a, a power or a regular smug mug account okay so the for the pro users this is what we want to do so the first thing we want to do is we want to go into our tools and we want to go into account settings after you're logged into your site. Just take a second. And we want to go under me and profile. And the first thing you want to do is put in a con your contact email. So I'm going to use Ryan at photography on the side dot com. Um, Actually, before I ch change that, I'll show you a couple of things that this is going to do. If I go back to my Johnny Walker site, um, and this has been known to some clients will be looking, looking, looking for this contact link, and they'll see a contact at the very bottom, and they'll go to click that, and it'll take them to help, the Smug Mug help site, which isn't all that good great if somebody's looking to talk to the photographer. It's great if they're looking for help on Smug Mug, um, buying prints and things like that, but it's not that good if they're looking to contact the, the photographer. There is a couple of things I think that they can, ways they can eventually contact us, but it's a really roundabout way. So here's a, an email um, to talk to Smug Mug, but it says trying to reach your photographer or the site owner, click here. So then it does that and it gives a little bit more information about how to actually get the photographer's information. Um, so by, I'm just going to go back here to our site. So the second that I change this contact email within my SmugMug site to 
you know, to my actual email address and, and hit save. Almost done. Verify your email. Okay, I gotta verify my email first, so let's go do that. Okay, so now that I've confirmed my email address, now when I'm just gonna refresh my Johnny Walker site, and now when I click on the contact, this box pops up automatically. And this is awesome. So now uh, my email, um, well, yeah, an email kind of pumps, jumps in here automatically because it, because uh, it knows it's me, and then there's a subject and, and I answer my question, ask my question. So there's a couple of things we want to do. So that's great that that's there, and now somebody can direct, directly get in touch with me. But I want a couple, do a couple more steps. I want to make sure I want to change this picture because that's not me. I kind of wish it was. That's an awesome mustache <laughs> and a great camera. Um, and I also want the same link to uh, to show up on my nav bar so it makes it even easier for customers to find me. So I'm going to cancel that. And um, okay, so we're going to go into Firefox and this is where we're going to fo um, follow this uh, JFriends tutorial. And we are going to go back to our home page. We're going to go under Tools and we are going to go to the easy customizer and then skip that and go to the advanced site-wide customization and click OK. Alright, so let's go back to our tutorial and look at the instructions. So step one is to copy the code below <clears throat> into our bottom JavaScript. Okay, so all we do is grab from the top all the way to the bottom. Oh, before we do that, let me tell you how to get to this thing. So to get to the actual tutorial, the instructions, and the code, you need to go to dgrin.com and do a search for uh, contact links. Let me do that with you so we can make sure that we're uh, going to find the same thing. So I always find the search works best if I log in to dgrin. So if I do a search contact links jfriend, in dgrin, uh, one of the top uh, top results that pops up is pros can insert their own contact links. So there's our tutorial. All right, so it's called pros can insert their own contact links. So step one is to install the code. So we grab the code and grab all of it. You're gonna have to scroll down a bit within the box, depending on how your browser shows up. But make sure you get every last bracket. And I type in. Um, Command C, but you can also do a right click and go copy. And then we're, I'm going to go back to Firefox where I'm logged into my site. And bottom not job not it says bottom JavaScript is where it wants me to um, insert this code. So bottom footer. So here's bottom JavaScript, and I go Control Paste Sweet. And I think that's it. So um, so I'm going to update my code. Nothing else is going to be changed. Go back to my home page. Okay. So follow the next instruction. So to add, now we want to add a link to our nav bar. Okay. So we're going to go tools. And we're going to go easy customizer. And just as an added bonus tip. <laughs> The way I'm I'm going between Firefox and uh, Chrome real quick, and hopefully it's not confusing you, is uh, I'm using um, um, Command Tab in my Mac. If you're on a PC, it would be uh, Alt Tab, Command Tab or Alt Tab. And now I can go between my um, programs that are open. So if I'm going to go to Chrome, I press it once. If I want to go Firefox, I go Command Tab again. Okay. So we want to get to our nav bar. So that's under our header. And then I'm going to go navigation bar builder. OK, so this is going to be just like the uh, just like in the tutorial. We want to create a new link, call it whatever we want. We'll call it contact me. Straightforward enough. Uh, it's going to be URL. Now, what is that link going to be? If we go back into our instructions, it says all you need to type in is um, forward slash custom contact. That's it. 
So you go um, copy. Well, I don't think I can paste into here, but I can write it in. Ah, what's going on? There we go. Can't paste it in. So custom contact forward slash custom contact. So once you have that that JavaScript code in your SmugMug site, then it'll know what to do with this link from the navbar. I hope we're gonna test it out and see. So I'm gonna go say OK, and there it shows up. Um, and I can go publish. Are you sure you want to publish? Yes. Okay, and then I want to go back to my home page. So now I'm going to go back into into uh, Chrome. I'm going to go to our Johnny Walker Photography site, the same site, but just me not logged in. And I'll refresh that page, and you'll see that the contact me has popped up. Now this is the moment of truth. If I click on this, we should get that same pop-up bar that comes up at the bottom. All right, sweet. So that's great. So that that's working, and that's good. You can stop here and be on your way. Everything's going to be fine. So when I, you know, if I typed in a um, if I typed in a message and a question, um, it'll be sent to uh, the email address that I sent to my put in my site, and everything will be good in the world. But I want to do a couple more things. I want to do uh, I want to change this picture, and I want to change this text up here to say um, something a little bit more personal. So I'm going to cancel that, and we're going to go back to our instructions. So we've done step two, and just as a note, you can insert this HTML link anywhere on your site and it'll work so uh, just that's good to know um, perfect modify the title of the contact panel to your liking which is what I want so in the code I want to change some of the red stuff to uh, from contact the gallery owner to contact you know something else so I'm gonna go back to Firefox I'm gonna go back to easy customizer and then skip over that and go to advanced site-wide customization go OK I'm going to scroll down to the bottom JavaScript and I'm going to go find I'm going to go find that part where it, where it uh, has the uh, contact the gallery owner so I'm going to change that to contact Ryan Oakley that's all I'm gonna do contact Ryan Oakley that looks good to me and I'm gonna go update and then I'm gonna go back into Chrome and go back to my site I've got to make sure I refresh the page to make sure the changes take take effect I'm gonna go contact me and there you go the title has been changed to contact Ryan Oakley awesome now I want to change the dude go cancel and again back into the instructions uh, so that was step three step four is to make sure your customer contact email setting is set so we've already done that um, we did that as the very first step and then it says notes if you want it if you want your own photo to show up instead of the man with the Im in the image above then set your bio photo and it will appear there Okay, so you might already have your bio photo set, in which case that photo will pop up. So, um, so for me, remember we're trying to change it. So there's me, um, and that's the photo I want to use. This is my this is my real photography site, so that's why it's already working there. So I'll show you how to set that up. So if we go back to account settings in our Johnny Walker photography site and whatever your site is, and then we can go into me and then profile picture so this is where we can set our bio photo go choose image and find um, I'm gonna find the same image that I use in my work work with me page so I'm gonna go professional work with me and then there's my photo that I want to use and I go done perfect save changes and now when I go back into so I saved those changes, yeah. So now when I go back, oh, that, I'm refreshing the wrong page, sorry. Let me go back to johnnywalkerphotography.smugmug.com, refresh my page, and then I go to the contact me, and bam, we're done. So now when somebody types it all in, everything's going to work. They see me, they see my name, 
Um, I think that's a great thing. So I hope that this tutorial worked out really well for you. So that was, again, so that was for the pro Smug Mug users. So that's if you have a business or a portfolio account, then that'll work great. And that's generally the people that have, um, um, you know, clients and people that, that want to contact you because you're selling your photos and things like that. But for other people, they might still want at least their email um, link in there. So let me show you real quick a way to do that. So again, we're all done. If you're a, if you're a, you were looking for a tutorial that showed you how to get that pop-up box, there it is. You're done. You're good to go. For people that are still looking for that can't do that pop-up box because they're not a pro Smug Mug user and they want something else, what I'm going to show you now is to create a contact me link into your navigation bar. But when you click on this, um, it'll just an email will pop up automatically for somebody to start typing in. Um, uh, typing in the uh, an email for you so it's called a it's called a mail to link so I'm gonna go mail to CS no yeah I'm gonna go mail to so I'm just doing a search just so I can show you um, what you would do if you want to create something like this um, so you can go to w3 schools and do a search and do a look for uh, create a mail to link and this explains kind of what you do um, and and what kind of happens when you create a link like this so when you do a, a, a link that starts with mail to and then an email address it'll show up like this and um, and when you click on it it will open up your email browser and allow you to uh, to send an email to this to that particular email address so someone at example.com oops Someone at example.com subject equals hello again. So that's how that's done. Um, and you would just uh, follow these instructions and put the mail to um, and, then, and then your email address in, you know, in your, in your navigation bar builder uh, in the easy customizer. All right, so I hope that helped. And before I let you go, just want to remind you that... Um, if you are a new Smug Mug user, um, you can, or you haven't signed up for Smug Mug just yet, you can sign up um, using my Smug Mug coupon code, which will allow you to save 20% on your Smug Mug site, um, and uh, and that basically just go to photography dot or photography on the side dot com forward slash Smug Mug, and that'll take you. Uh, to Smug Mug and we'll have that 20% off uh, coupon code already uh, activated. If you're in the 14 day free trial with Smug Mug, um, when you go to your checkout, remember to type in wedding gig, W-E-D-D-I-N-G-G-I-G, -G -G, all one word, and you'll, uh, and you'll get that 20% off as well. All right, that's it. Take care and uh, let me know if you have any questions.